All right, shut up. Here's how to turn bauxite into aluminum ingots. You will need a source of bauxite, a source of coal, a source of quartz, and a source of water. All of these materials will make all of these buildings. We will start at the bauxite node. Let's go. Suck. 240 bauxite per minute out of a node. You can get this much with a Mark II miner on a pure node or on a regular node if you slug boost it to 200%. Split the 240 bauxite per minute in half with a splitter. Send those two lines into two refineries, both set up to produce alumina solution at a rate of 120 cubic meters per cubic minute. There's water and silica here too. We'll get back to them. Use tubes to merge the alumina solution outputs from your refineries into one tube that goes into one new refinery set to convert the 240 alumina solutions into 360 aluminum scraps per minute. This needs coal too, and it spits out water. Go get some coal and hook it up to the back of this refinery. You need 120 coal per minute, which is a Mark II miner on a coal node. Coal is done. Let's work out the water. So, our first two refineries, the two that make bauxite into alumina solution, they each need 180 water per minute, which put together is 360 water per minute. Well, let's go get some water. How much water? 360, right? You just said, you just said 360. No. Good guess, but no. The alumina scrap operation we just set up puts out 120 water, so we only need an extra 240 water from the outside world. So let's go get the 240 water per minute with two water extractors. Power those on now. Put all that water together in one pipe, bring it back to base. Here we can merge and split all at once by connecting all four of our water spots together with a single pipeline junction. That's 240 from the outside world, 120 spat out of our scrap refinery, and the two refineries that are in need of the sweet, sweet 180 water per minute each. There's a little problem here, which is that when you turn this whole thing on, the water from the alumina scrap refinery won't exist yet. The easiest fix is to put a fluid buffer here, connect it on the pipeline from the aluminum scrap refinery to the junction. If you power it on your extractors, like I said to, the buffer will fill up now and pick up the slack when things are getting started. Now, split your 360 aluminum scrap per minute into four foundries. Make sure you're using a Mark IV conveyor belt or faster until you start splitting. 360 a minute is a lot. Foundries making aluminum ingots Take 90 scrap per minute, plus they need 75 silica. Very much like with water, you're making some silica already, but not enough. Altogether, the four foundries are going to need 300 silica. You're only getting 100 from the two alumina solution refineries, so we need to get another 200 from elsewhere. The simplest way is to go get some quartz. 120 quartz a minute can be sucked with a Mark II miner on a normal node of quartz. Bring it back to your base, hook it up to some constructors set to convert quartz to silica. This is the only awkward moment because you need five and a third constructors to make 120 quartz into 200 silica. So look, you can make six constructors and turn the last one down to 33%, or you can slug boost constructor number five to 133%. Either way, all of this delicious silica plus 100 from your refineries need to link up and feed equally into the four aluminum ingot foundries. And there, look, that's that. 240 bauxite goes in, 240 aluminum ingots go out.